Hi, I'm Arlene. I'm coming to you again with another video. It's going to be a little different today. I went to go see Donna Summer. Oh, you can't see because it's backwards, but I'm not changing it today. But I went to go see Donna Summer, the musical, or Summer, the Donna Summer musical. That's the name of it. I went to see that today. And I wanted to do it before I went to the play, but I did not. So I'm going to have a little fun video with me picking out outfits. And if you like, in the comments, you can guess which outfit I actually wore to the play. So we'll be getting started in a few minutes. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my first option, I have a dress here. Oh my goodness, I forgot where I got this from. Anyway, I'm, I'll tell you after I change it to something else. But I have this dress here. I think it came from The Limited. So if it's The Limited, you know that's a long time ago because The Limited has been shut down for a few years. Anyway, it is like a, not a color block, but a leather block or pleather, because I don't think any of the items that I'm putting on today, nope, I'm not even putting on the, nope, none of it is real leather, not the clothes. It's the fake leather, but it's blocked out in little patterns. It has a A-line cut, comes right above the knee. So this is the way that it looks. And I have on some Jessica Simpson shoes that I got from Von Mar. And because in Michigan, it's warming up, but it has not completely warmed up. It's still rather cool. Today, I think it got in the high 50s. So we still need jackets or sweaters or something. So I will put this on with it. These shoes are suede, and this jacket it has like um, the suede and the leather look. So it has a little bit of the blocking, so it kind of coordinates with the dress. And as a side note, all of the outfits that I'm picking from are black. So we're doing black in spring, all right? <laughs> so. This is what this looks like with the jacket. Okay. So this is outfit number one. Okay, I'm back for this outfit. Outfit number two. Oh, first, let me say the dress from the first outfit was from the limited it was a size large and the jacket here was from macy's and that's a size large now this shirt is from express it's a small this skirt is from jc Penney's, and it's a medium this shirt was um they only had smalls and it actually ran kind of big so I can get away with the small because I'm not a small by any means. I'm more for shirts, large, sometimes mediums because I have the boobage here. And this skirt I got from JCPenney's a long time ago, many years ago. But I think it's still cute, can be worn in style. It just has one side split. It's not quite a um, pencil skirt, but it is a straight skirt. Well, I don't know. Maybe it could be considered a pencil skirt. But I don't think like it's tight enough, but I guess. But anyway, this skirt has the leather panels on it. The shirt is the leather. I put on some 
leather chunky heel pumps. These are Bleaker Bond from DSW. So that's everything. Outfit number two. So it's a skirt and a puff sleeved uh, leather shirt. Because this is a two piece. So, maybe I wore this today. Let me know what you think. But this is outfit number two. <laughs> okay, this is outfit number three. I got this from Von Maar. This is just a lace jumpsuit this is a size 10 which i usually get jumpsuits in size 10 because for me they kind of run big and that could be because i'm so short and so the proportions fit me better usually in a size 10 and this was probably supposed to be an ankle length but it is full length on me now, because we're still not warm yet, like I said, it's trying to get warm, but it's still cold. I will have to put a jacket on and the jacket that I chose was just one of the Jackets that I've shown before. And my sleeves are usually too long for me. So I just fold them up. On most of my jackets and shirts. So I'm going to be looking like a little kid with two big clothes. But this is this outfit. So if you think it's number three that I wore today, put number three. This is a jumpsuit. Okay. Um, or I should say the lace jumpsuit. Number three. Okay. Okay. Now, this is outfit number four. This is from New York and Company. The shoes are Jessica Simpson. I got this from New York and Company late last year. So it would have been between probably Thanksgiving and Christmas of 2021. So this is fairly new. You probably could still look on New York and Company website and get both of these pieces. The shoes I've had for many years. If you look at them, you can tell they're older design because it has that platform in the front, kind of a big one, but they're very high. And like I said before, it's still cold outside. So I have to put on a jacket. And this will be this jacket. This one has gold um, zipper or gold accents. And this jacket is from JCPenney's. This was in the petite department some years ago. So it's a large petite. As you can see, the sleeves fit good. So, oh, and these pants are wide-legged. And I want to say these, sometimes New York and Company clothes run fairly big. So I think these pants are a size 8 and the shirt is a medium. Ooh, getting hot, y'all. So, this is this outfit. Let me know. If you think it was number four. 
Okay. I'll be back with another one. Okay. I'm on outfit number five. Now this. All of these pieces been in my closet for a while. Even the shoes. The shoes not as long as other pieces. So the pants are from Express. The shirt is from Express. This jacket is a um, velour or velvet jacket. It's from New York and Company. Um, and the shoes are from Macy's. <laughs> a little story about the shoes. I was at a conference with my union friends and we went shopping and these were the shoes that I picked out because they were, well, they were on sale and they're sparkly and I'm usually looking for some type of flat to wear in the summertime for when I go to like concerts or on vacation so that I can walk in them. So I call her Auntie. Auntie said, why are you buying them little granny shoes with that little bitty heel? <laughs> but these shoes are comfortable. She dogged me out about my, my little bitty granny shoe, she called it. Anyway, so this is the outfit. The shoes are silver. And this shirt, it doesn't have actual silver sequins, but it's black sequins, but the way that it... Um, Reflex is giving a little bit of a silver tinge. So I said I could wear these shoes with it. So this is number five, outfit number five. So if you think this is what I wore to see Donna Summers, vote number five. And I'm pretty sure you can see my, yeah, you can see my feet. Okay, so this is number five. Oh, I think this jacket, let's see. Oh, well, you can see the outfit without the jacket. This jacket is a size 10, and this shirt is a large, and these pants, are a size 10. So, there it is. Okay, I think I'm on outfit number six. I think that's what this is. Okay, so this shirt is from Express. And the pants are from Macy's. These are also like the leather block. So these have, I think it's a little leather. It has leather up here. It has, let me back up. It has some leather right here. Then it has like the suede right here. So that's how these are made. And in the back is just plain. And this is, um, the pants and the jacket, jacket are the same name. Bar three or, yeah, bar three. And this was the same jacket from before that I had on. So, if you think that is outfit number six that I wore to the play, you can vote number six. And this jacket pretty much matches the pants, I guess identically, because it has the leather and the suede. Then it has a little bit of like a sweater material which could be comparable to the other material, like in the back of the pants. So that's this. 
And once again, these are Jessica Simpson suede uh, booties. And the heel is out, cut out in the back with a bit of a peep toe. So that's this outfit. If you think it's number six, vote number six. And I'm getting hot, I'm having a hot flash, y'all. And I think it's one more. Yes, it is. That I have to show you. And then I'm going to show you a few items that I bought today. Because I went to um, Nordstrom's Rack. And that'll be your time to take a vote. Then I'll come back and show you which outfit I wore. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. This is outfit number seven. This is a dress from New York and Company. It has the like the little le the leather look on the top. And the rest of it is like a real fitted um not jersey knit, but like a kind of a knit material. Because it's a little, it's thicker than jersey knit. But as you can see, it's very fitted. I believe this is a size medium. And it has the silver zip down the back. And once again, I have my Jessica Simpson suede shoes on. And I have to wear a jacket with it. So this will be the look. So, if you think I wore this to the play, vote number seven. Okay. And I'll be back to talk about the things, <laughs> the few things that I got from Nordstrom Rack so that you can um, vote on what you thought I wore. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so I picked this Adidas jogging suit well, with shorts up from Nordstrom's Rack. So the shirt, which I think it runs small, but I got the extra large. In the shorts, I got the large. So, I think if I had seen the extra large shorts, I may have gotten that instead of the large. Because it seems to me like Adidas clothes run a little bit small. But, that's what this looks like. Because at, at first, I thought it was just this sweatshirt looking small. But I looked at another Adidas sweatshirt that I have, and it's an extra large also. So to me, their um, sweatshirts run a little bit small, usually. And I picked out or pulled out my, these are some black and white suede Adidas that I got from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, like in 2020, no, 2019, around the end of the year, maybe Thanksgiving, Christmas time, because I remember wearing these when we were on um, quarantine.
quarantine in 2020, I was wearing these riding my bike. So I pulled them back out. They'll be perfect for this, something casual. So next item that I'm going to talk about while you're voting is this um, pink sugar, creamy sunshine. So I took, that's why I ended up in Nordstrom's oh. Rack because I ordered it from Nordstrom's Rack and I wanted to change it out. And the girl at, I was going to return it and get another one. The girl at the counter, she said she just bought it. Hers looks like this. And so I told her, spray it on her because I think it smells kind of off. She said, that's what it smells like. It's just something in these notes that's throwing me off. Um, I had somebody else smell it. He said that it smelled good to him. And he said I was just sniffing too hard. And then I had my son smell it. I actually put it on one of my sons and had him smell it because I wanted him to keep smelling it. And he said it was okay. It smelled like bubble gum to him. So I've been looking on YouTube and some people put this as a fragrance. This smells like bubble gum. I don't know. It's just the note that's off. But, oh, let me get this. So I'll talk to you a little bit about this. Okay, so when I was trying it, I couldn't wear it by itself. I think I did wear it at night by itself and went to sleep. But in the daytime, I did not wear it by itself. I mixed it with this Frosted Coconut Snowball. Because this is supposed to have coconut notes in it. And this has coconut and spun sugar in it. So I mixed them together and it was much more pleasant for me. Um, I don't think I would be wearing this by itself. I think I would always wear this mixed with something else. I wish I was one of those people in the um, comments of other sites or other people talking about this this perfume, I was going to say machine, this perfume that says it's the best one out of all of the flankers. They love it. I want it to be that person. I want it to love this. But I don't. But I have it, so I will use it. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay. My next purchase. I got some... Tom Ford Shades at Nordstrom Rack. I don't know. They're saying that it was supposed to cost $4.45. I got them for $1.59. I don't know what year these came out. I don't know if it came out last year or the year before. I just lost a pair of um, brown shades that I've had. I lost them last year. I re misplaced them. There was some coach brown shades, and I really like those, but I can't find them. I lost them at the end of the summer, and I never did, or misplaced them. I never did find them. Oh, goodness. Uh-oh. Oh, I was going to say, these... Got something on it I can't get off. They're going to have to go back for $159. I thought it was scratched, but it's not. This says 100% UV protection. I was hoping that they would be polarized for $159. But these are what they look like. I had two different pairs that I tried on. And one one was Givenchy. 
and these and these were the Tom Ford ones. And I liked them both. Um I had one of the salespeople look at me with them on and he liked these better. So I picked them because I liked both of them. So y'all tell me what you think. These would be some of my new brown shades. They actually had all kinds of shades in there. They had um, Dolce & Gabbana, a lot of Ray-Bans, Tom Ford, Gucci, Fendi, Dior, uh, Quay, Kate Spade. Actually, it was some cute Kate Spades that I liked. Um, Tom's. Tides, not Tom's. Tides. And some other name brands. They had some nice ones. But these are the ones that I got. The brown in this video here kind of looks funny to me. I'm going to look at them in the other mirror. In the store, they was... Oh, okay, it's just picking up the redness. It's making the lenses look red in that video. But the, the lenses are brown. They fit very comfortably. So... These are those. I like these. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you like them. So, that's pretty much what I got today from um, Nordstrom's. So, I hope you all guessed. Took a guess in the comments of what you think I wore to the concert. And now I'm going to put it on so you can see. I don't even remember which number it was. But I'm going to put it on so you can see. <laughs> okay. This is the outfit that I wore to see Summer. The Donna Summer Musical. So... I had on the high heel kickers, the super high ones. I just wore them into the um, place when I did my shopping. I put these little flats on. As soon as I got out of the play, these some Katy Perry little flats that I got from um, <laughs> Von Mar. I called them my Christmas shoes. But this is what I wore. This is the outfit from New York and Company. It's some wide leg um, leather pants, pleather pants. And this sweater. And I threw this jacket on from JCPenney. And the fragrance of the day was my iced Angel Ice Star. And like I said before in the other video, this smells delicious. Only thing was I was a bit disappointed because it did not last long. So this is one of the fragrances that you will have to overspray. With the original Angel, if you overspray, you're going to choke somebody out. This one, you need to overspray because it doesn't last like the original angel and the original angel that i have is a perfume and this one is an audi toilette so it does not have the lasting power but it does smell delicious so i'll be trying it again when i'm going out somewhere so that i can smell like pineapples so if you voted number four I think that this was number four from all of the outfits that I tried on. You guessed right. I wore number four. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. 
and welcome to all the new subscribers. I have been getting um, some new subscribers and I appreciate you um, subscribing and watching and share it with a friend. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.